I'm sorry. I know you guys just got done, but I'm sure I'm going to go again. I don't know if I have a stomach bug or what. Let's get you cleaned up. Roll towards Seth. There we go. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I think we have a C. diff infection going on here. Clostridioides difficile, also known as C. diff. These infections are nasty. They cause often severe diarrhea and colitis, which is an inflammation of the colon, and it can be life-threatening. Most C. diff infections occur while taking antibiotics or not long after finishing an antibiotic treatment. Other risk factors include a prior C. diff infection, being age 65 or older, having recently stayed in a hospital or nursing home, or if the patient has a weakened immune system. The symptoms are pretty obvious. The frequent diarrhea, fever, stomach pain, loss of appetite, nausea, and admission to the hospital is sometimes necessary. C. diff is contagious and repeat infections are common. About one in six people will get it again in the subsequent two to eight weeks. Hand sanitizer won't kill C. diff spores, so we're gonna have to use soap and water. We'll also need to get a stool sample and I'm gonna set up isolation supplies at the door. So, Ms. Smith, I think you have um, an intestinal infection. Now, we'll get a sample of your stool and we'll send it off to the lab. It takes a couple of days to get back. In the meantime, we're gonna have everybody that comes in wear um, gown and use gloves. And that just helps keep it from spreading to other people. It's just for a couple of days until we know for sure. Um, and if you have any questions, we can talk about those when I come back.